What's going on everybody? MR2 Turbo Scott here. Today we're going to be opening up a box of the Mystery Booster Box. One of the newer sets uh, to be released uh, from Wizards. And uh, hopefully we get some pretty good uh, cards out of here to finish out a few few decks, a few Commander decks. Needing a couple foils on certain ones, so hopefully we get those. But if nothing else, let's get to opening this up and see what we get. So... Here by Lily. I'll just do one at a time here and see what we get. The first box I opened up of this was actually pretty good. Um, you get more than your money uh, money's worth out of the box. I think mine was almost value wise three times what I paid for the box. So you definitely get uh, your money's worth out of this. Plus, you know, your first chance at a lot of cool, uh, cards in foil, sorry, uh, for the first time, especially if you're fairly new to the game. Some of these are from older sets. So let's take a look and see what we got. We're just going to kind of read through these uh, and then mostly uh, just look at the rares and check out any of the money cards or foils that we get and just go from there. So uh, the first one, Firehoof Calvary, Benevolent Ancestor. See, thought collapse. All the old gen. <laughs> you just get those in all the corsets. Uh, breeding pit. Dread drone. Miner's bane. Crone sergeant. Gift of growth. Old kicker spell. Might of the mass is another pump spell. Reflector Mage, Simic Locket, and of course we get Rith Awakener. That's our first rare, and Urza's Rage is the second. And our foil is Codex Shredder. Everybody loves to hate on this card, but it's a good annoying card to play. <laughs> so. See, Acrobatic Maneuver, Emergent Scathe, and obviously if you haven't been able to tell, I think most of these comes of like two in every color and some in the multicolor artifacts, and your rares are just kind of like random colored, I believe, so don't call me on that, but uh, Gone Fishing, or Gone Missing, I'm sorry, uh, River Wheel Aerialist, Cadaver Imp, Ghostly Changeling, remember that one. Smelt. Bogart Brute. Pax Favor, relatively new card. Elvish Warrior. Crow and Hoplite. Stick with the multicolor there. Fountain Renewal. Some slow life gain. Uh, Misform Shrieker. That's an older one. Ooh. Actually, that's one of our rares. I'm sorry. It's one of old rares. And the new one, of course, is Anger of the Gods. Good small board, board wipes. In just about any format, really. And our foil is Lapse of Certainty. Pretty cool. Stick it over there. Maybe try a hunk. Actually, I'm going to separate the foils. I may have missed one or two already, but anyway. Got a strike. Nagging thoughts. Arcane denial. Grim discovery. Tendrils of corruption. Scream reach brawler. I don't recall that one. Nemo Blade, Kenra, am I saying that right? Runeclaw Bear, Vanilla Bear for the win, Death Hood Cobra, Tithe Drinker, 
Love me some life link. And the old mind stone. And a tinker. For one of the always get the Urza's block mixed up, but it's for one of those, I believe. And then boom pile. Oh look at that. The um uh, Foil Sark and the Man. From what, Rise of Eldrazi, I believe? It's pretty sweet. That's in or around the time I actually started playing. Actually, I think it was like Mirrored Image Siege when I actually started playing, but it was around that uh, time frame when all the good sets were actually coming up. Man, there were so many to choose from. Like all the M10, M11, M12, Mirrored and uh, the Eldrazi block. So, back to these. Uh, Soul Summons. And his judgment. There's actually a lot of more recent cards in here than I was expecting. I was actually expecting what I thought I had read. I thought it was like M14 and back. Uh, and there's actually some from within the last set or two, actually, like a Munket and uh, what was the other one? So it's fairly recent, but anyway. Uh, Messenger Jays. Thought Scour. Love some good old meal. Hideous End. Grim Affliction. Mostly removal in black so far. Well, at least in this pack. Blessed Home Goblin. And Lightning Javelin. I wonder if Lightning Bolt's in this set. I need a new set of Lightning Bolts myself. Titanic Growth. Seems like Olive Green mostly is pump. Pump and big creatures. I guess that's all you need. <laughs> Carnivorous Moss Beast. Belligerent. Bro Bro <laughs> Brodon. Brododon. Short Sword. That oh, was a Dominaire. That was fairly recent, too. Bear Cub. And. Was it Kaladesh, I believe? Yeah. Gaunty Lord of Luxury. It's rare in that one. The Pyretic Ritual. That's a pretty sweet foil. I like the flaming light ones. Let's see. Oops. Sorry, I have like. Multiple piles, none of them make a whole lot of sense. So, put them wherever, I guess. Daring Skyjik. Pentark Ward. Nothing great in white so far, at least nothing that I need. Collar of Gales. Thornwind Fairies. Coat with Venom. I remember that one. Didn't see much play though. Maybe in draft, that's really about it. Tragic Slope, that's all tons of play. It's one of my favorite removal spells in black, actually. Get to Lava Runner. <clears throat> Oops. Thresher Lizard. Sorry, my hands don't want to work today. Fierce Impith. Empath, sorry. Adventurous Impulse. And good old Lightning Helix. Not sure what set that's from. It's like a fist with a. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that. My camera's not great, so it's like a fist with a glow around it. If any of y'all know what set that is, I think it's like GK one. It's what it's saying. One of the dual decks or something like that. If anybody knows what that is, just leave a comment. What set that's from? I'm curious about what what else that set might have in it. Oops. Nubanaya. I should have a cycle of these somewhere. It's the first land, actually. And the old artifact lands. Banning just about everything. <laughs> Maybe casual, not casual. <laughs> and the old Supreme Verdict. Good old board white. And nor the worry for the foil. The next one here. Ah, Pet the Exile. Probably the first decent night card, in my opinion. I mean, I'm a kind of a rogue style player anyway, so I play with really weird decks of my own. I rarely uh, play net decks or anything like that. I always take cards that I like to play with, you know, because to me, if the deck's not fun to play with, what's, what's really the point? But, let's see, the Stalwart Aven. I don't think I ever played with that, actually. Fleeting Distraction. Aether Trade Winds, fairly new one. Defeat. 
Nameless Inversion. I don't remember that one. I didn't get to play a lot of that. Uh, what was it Modern Masters set? It's first or second one, I believe. Uh, Seismic Shift. Pricklebore. Oops, oops. Pierce the Sky. Kind of a very specific piece of removal. Bristling Boar. Soul Manipulation. Old Paladin Mirror. <laughs> Doom Gape. <laughs> it's one of the first cards I saw before. I think I saw Emrakul. I thought it was the greatest card ever just because it was the largest creature I think that any of the shops that we're going to uh, had available. And it's one of the first cards I think I, I really enjoyed just because of the trample, obviously, because most of my buddies were playing with uh, goblin decks and stuff like that with real small creatures. Um, of course, a lot of the creatures nowadays are just crazy in uh, power and toughness, let alone abilities. So, I mean, it's bad because you can look at this now and it seems like it's an okay card rather than being, being like an amazing card. Etherflux Reservoir. Never squeeze that into a deck of any kind. A few people did though. And Sakura Tribe Scout. Foil. I think I got one foil of that in my last box as well. Let's see. The next one. Let's see. Borrowed Grace. Built to last. Modern Fighter's Assistant. Get an encrustation for your crab and <laughs> squid decks. Uh, Annihilate again, or maybe the first time actually. I think it's the first one. I think the other one was in my other box. The Hex Mage, Vampire Hex Mage, such a good card. Goblin Bombardment, Battle Rampart, Rampart, I'm saying that wrong. Old Siege Worm. Explore. I think it's the new art for the Explore. I think if it's had a couple variations, but Celestia Guild Mage, Meteorite. Car saw almost no play. It seems like a Nemesis of Reason. Another one of my first uh, cards when I built that mill deck. Real fun to play with. You can get him to stick. Seems like everybody's playing counter base decks at the time. Oops. Wheel of Fate. I don't think I've ever had that one, to be honest. And of course the foil. Treasonous Ogre. That's a pretty sweet foil. I actually haven't been paying attention to the market a lot to see what a lot of these are doing. Seems like a lot of the commons are really underpriced in my opinion because some of those especially ones that are probably foil for the first time or just were really hard foil to get a hold of are like less than two bucks like some of our own like 50 cents to a dollar dollar 25 uh i've been trying to snag all of them up because it just seems like they can only go up some of them obviously you never will because they're just not playable except in maybe casual uh, or block or anything like that but we'll snag them all up and see what they do on down the road so uh, this one here, we're starting off. Let's switch hands here. Desperate Sentry. Fragmentize. I don't think I ever got to play with that one either. Never saw it in draft or anything. Deep Freeze. Amphin Path Mage. Duress. Plague. Rusalka, maybe? <laughs> Spark Mage Apprentice, Fiery Hellhound, Pulse of Marasa, Giant Spider, Eventual Rebirth. I think that's from one of the Modern Master sets as well. Probably the second one, I believe. Poor Man's Fetch, <laughs> Good Old Evolving Wilds. Oops, I done got my lands mixed up. And Imperial Armor. God, what is that? Like Weather Light? Is that what the book symbol is? I believe it is. It's been a while since I looked at some of the older cards that I've got. That actually be a cool one to have in foil. 
And then Gaunty Lord of the Luxury again. Did we just get him? I feel gypped. An old Grand Architect. Good old Blue Lord. Oops. Peace of mind. Refurbish. Actually, that art's pretty sweet. Fledgling Macaw. Mal Malcor? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Repulse. Prowling. Pangolin. I don't think I ever got to play with that one either. Dreadbringer Lampids. Nymphs is a creature type you don't see a whole lot of either. Grape Shot. Dragon Breath. The old Ranger's Gall. Good old Protection Spell. I see a little play in a few decks. Grazing Gladeheart. And Bladewing. Is that the same art? I believe so. I can't quite remember. I'll have to look that up as well. Scrag the Rage Pits. Or Skarg, I'm sorry. I actually need that one, so there's that's a plus. Ponta Mythos. I believe I actually need one of those for the commander too. So two cards in one pack for the old commander deck. And Kiki Jiki. Actually, he goes over here. We'll put it there for now. He used to see him when I first started playing. God, this he was everywhere. He easily hated on stuff like that too, but always had to deal with a lot of a lot of people playing the, uh, the Kiki Jiki decks back in the day. And Souls Attendant. I actually have that, but I don't think I have it in foil with this art. Um, probably be swapping that out for the foil. I think it's the Celestia deck that I've got that in. It's like a life gain enchantment. Sort of. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. I've got a mono white one too. I'm trying to remember which one I've got that in, but it's a lot of the card, a lot of the white cards tend to bleed over into both decks actually. So, wing shards, dragon bell monk, catalog, throwing bird. Dragscape Zombie. Skeletal Scrying. I don't remember this one either. Wall of Fire. Magma Spray. I think it's a new art as well. Or the new art, I mean. Obviously it's had an old one, but Wild Size. Some more Green Pump. Far Seek. Armament Corpse. Crumbling Necropolis. That's another land. I think it comes in, at least in one of the uh, original, uh, which you call them, Commander decks. I think a lot of those were in there. So, Caravix Torch. Am I saying that right, guys? Was that Mirage, I believe? Yeah. I remember having this, but man, my one was not. Obviously not in as good a condition, but it was uh, really beat up. And another Supreme Verdict. And, ooh, Visser Seer. I think it's a few bucks. What, five, eight? At least the original was eight. This one's probably going to be, obviously, less. But um, it's still cool to have. I think I've got that in my Mono Black uh, Commander deck as well, so... If we don't have a foil, we'll, we'll have to swap it out for it. Ephemerate? Am I saying that right? I don't think I've ever seen this one. I didn't get to play a lot of the uh, Modern Horizons uh, 1 or 2, actually. Mostly doing to work scheduling and stuff like that. So I only got to buy random packs here and there, but I heard it was really fun to draft. I really missed out on that. So Blade Instructor. Spell, Treasure Hunt, Yasmin Mummy, Quest for the Grave Lord, Forge Devil, Cartouche of Zeal, 
Riparian Tiger. I think I only played him in draft only, actually. Formless Nurturing. Agony Warp. What was it? The Shards Block, I believe those were from. The same thing from like the Nemesis of Reason. I forget which exact set, but uh, I got the draft at one time. Uh, what a great set that was. Blinding Soul Eater. Recoup. From one of the dual decks, but I wonder what the original set was. Marin. First, is that from my first legendary? No, I think one of the dragons was legendary as well, too, so. But actually, I haven't. Uh, I don't have one of hers, so. I am building a Golgari deck, too, so. She could easily be the commander, but she might be actually just be in the actual deck itself. And this group ranger. It's mostly on the background on that one, too, so. It's okay looking. See here, Knight of Obanaya, Kind of like Vigil, Slipstream Ill, Old Distortion Strike, Demon's Grasp, Carry On Feeder, I believe that's new art work as well, Foundry Street Denizen, Boulder Sawo. Strength in Numbers, Reclaiming Vines, good old everything hate, just about, except creatures really. <laughs> I know I'm going to mess this up. River Hoopy, Hopo, one of the two. I definitely don't remember this one, and I played this set a lot. I guess if it was in drafts, someone was always, always pulling it. You could almost... And a lot of the groups I play in, you can never get a flyer unless you just basically open it too. So that's probably why I never saw it. Benthic Infiltrator. I guess what's it? Battle in the car, I believe. Oral Shards. Interesting card. And Rune Scar Demon. Played him quite a bit. And Triskeleton is the foil and a foil rare. I don't think we've got a full mythic kit either, have we? I think they're all been common and common up until that one. So let's see here. Oh, we're about halfway, about a third, a little more than a third way through. So we'll try to speed this a little up, uh, uh, guys. Uh, so we'll just kind of blow through the last, last few packs and we'll focus more on the, like, the rares and any of the old cars too, in case that's, I'm not sure what... Uh, everybody's like willing to see if it's just the rares or anything. Just like let me know if you just want me to jump straight to the rares or anything like that. So just skip the commons on commons or you just like it how it is. So let's see Divine Favor. Collar of the Culprit. <laughs> Jerrying Homunculus. Looks like a cosplayer or something. Factor Fiction. With Jace on it. It's probably the one of my favorite versions of that. Shriek Model. Tavern Swindler, Generator Servant, Desert Ceridon, Praise Vengeance, More Pump, Stalking Tiger, Bear's Companion, Dismal Backwater, Oh, the old Dungo of Elder. Used to see a lot of play on, on that one. Oops. Oh, and Elish Norn. I think it's... I got one in the other box, I believe, too, so... Always one of the... Like, what was it? The Judges promo, where it's actually written... Um, in their language, whatever. It, it's, it's slipping my mind now at the moment, but... Um, that's actually a really cool card. My favorite, favorite card of the pack so far. And the old Fold Me Knight. Can never go wrong with zero casting creatures. Imperial Shields, Healer's Hawk, Nebulous of Dusk, 
doorkeeper, cackling imp, smiting helix. I don't remember that one. Goblin Rough Rider. I used to play that one. Back when I very first started, I had like a goblin deck. Everything was, a lot of those goblins were so vanilla, with the exception of like three or four. Cinder Helion. Orin Reef Invoker. Clip Wings. A lot of the grains more, removals more focused on like removing flyers. Seems like. The Esper Charm. Prophetic Prism. River Boa. Oh, regenerate a night howler for the foil, uh, rare and the foil actually is an intruder alarm. Actually, I had one of those back in the day, back when I thought I liked blue, more of a Selesnia or Golgari or mono, mono white, mono green, either one of those, or any of the mix, mono blacks, fun too. So, don't play much mono red anymore. It's still fun to play on arena though from time to time, so Mark my honor. Intrusive Pack Beast. Silent Observer. Mold Drifter. Genju of the Fins. So really weird on that one. Oh Gary. Grey Merchant. Let's see. Infernal Fist. Fling. <laughs> I love Fling. Such a fun card. You can be just losing and just still win, which is uh, a sacrifice of uh, a simple creature. Usually goblins, because that's what I always played them in, or goblin grenade. That was that whole deck. So uh, usually we play with like one big creature, and then you know they thought you couldn't get through, and then you just toss it and then scrape by uh, the skin of your teeth. Because usually when you're playing like red, especially goblins, you you took a beating trying to get in fast because you're always t turning sideways and never left anything to block so that was kind of a last hurrah it worked most of the time but sometimes you you know they would get the best of you but that's part of it i guess take down more flying creature damage crossroads cons consecrator and absan guide filigree familiar It's like a robo puppy. <laughs> Time save. Rune Scar Demon again. I thought that was Hornet Queen there for a second. And Hornet Sting, actually. I remember that one. Didn't see much, much play, at least on my end. So. Fear of Resistance. Jeru's, Dejeru, Jeru's, Renunciation, Skitter Eel, Jace's Phantasm, Ooh. hey, Demonic Tuner. Actually, yeah, I think I forgot that art. I'm pretty sure. Death Denied, Clean Pilch Enforcer, Zeta's Commando, or Zada's Commando, Zendikar's Royal. Thornscape Battle Mage, Unflinching Courage, nothing like Pump with Trample and Lifelink. What was the other one? Like Armadillo Cloak, which is what, what this was like the functional reprint of that one, I believe. Crystal Chimes. I don't remember this one at all either. It must have been one of the Commander decks or something. Actually, it says C15, so I'm assuming it's the Commander 15 decks. Yavabaya's Embrace. Anger of the Gods again. Starting to see a lot of duplicates of the rares there. And the Foil's Wall of Shards. Can't remember if the Icicles was Cold Snap or Ice Age. It's another one of those ones. I didn't see a whole, I play a whole lot of them or have a lot of the cards from those sets. So, oop, bump the camera there. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, another Defiant Strike. Wild Griffin. 
compelling argument, Leapfrog, Myers Malice, Shadow Cloak Vampire, Canyon Lurkers, Dragon Soul Knight, Domesticated Hydra. I wanted that one to be good, but it seemed like everything. There were so many kill spells at the time, and it just died to everything. Arbor Elf. Grim Contest. Oops. Universal Solvent. Core Chant. Grasp of Fate for the rare. And Carwath Knight. It's pretty sweet. That one didn't want to open. Expose Evil. Zealous Strike. Decision Paralysis. Yell Umbra. I wonder if the full cycle of Umbras are in this set. Nirkana Assassin. Wander in Death. Oops. Leaping Master. Chandra's Revolution. Hooded Brawler. Azuri's Archers. Definitely play him. Corpse Jack Menace. Tectonic Edge. Corrupted Conscience. I actually remember playing this. I used to... One of the few blue decks I actually played had that in it during the Besiege M12 era. Um, I played it just to... Let them cast the big creatures and then essentially steal them. And Chromatic Lantern. For the rare there. And Rescue from the Underworld. Is the foil. Kind of a simple foil really. It's more of the torches or lanterns and then the skylight. Or moonlight. Whatever that's supposed to be. Inquisitor's Ox. The first white one. Even Century. Eleventh Guardian, maximize altitude. I just thought these cards were kind of weird. Seemed really only situationally good. Voracious Null, Typhoid Rants, Mardu War Shrieker, Gut Shot. Oh, I love the Frexy mana. I love that whole block. Really, a lot of people didn't like it, but. Is one of one of my favorite sets. Plummet. Harrow. 